Hi, this video is to show you how to move your Nexus 4 sound banks to a different drive. If like me, you've been using Nexus for a while, you're going to have a good collection of sound banks. Mine is currently running at 10 gig. To have this on your C drive is going to cause problems later down the line at least. So let's dive right in. As you can see, my Nexus is not picking up any libraries. Now what I want to do is move these to my hard drive, which is going to be drive D. In order to do this, we need to go to local drive C, users, public, public documents, ref XS, ref X, Nexus. And here you can see we have a number of files. What we're going to do is we are going to change the settings.json file. As you can see here, it's currently set to users public. Now I've got my libraries set to D here. As you can see, I've got this PC, music files, which is my D drive, in documents, refx, Nexus library, and here are all my presets. If you have expansion packs, they will be going in here. Presets, again, expansion packs, plus factory presets, so this is where I want to point Nexus to in order to pick up my data. In order to do that, I need to change this string here. Also, I'm going to change this string for any user content that I want to produce or anything that comes in user content. So we'll go through that right now. I'm going to edit this and I'm going to use up here Notepad. So here I've updated the library folder to the new point to the new libraries. And now my user folder is also pointed to the correct library. The thing, if you're editing this by hand, not copying and pasting, be careful that these are double slashes. Quite often, we forget this and we put single slash and we don't find it. So that is going to be the main thing you're likely to get wrong. So go back and check, drive, double slash, and the pathway with the double slashes in between and everything contained within speech marks, within quote marks. And that's it. So now, save that. And delete that. And just going to replace that with, go into here, reload plugin, refresh plugin properties. And there we have our libraries. Ready to go. And you can see that's all for now. If you found this video useful, please like the video. And why not subscribe while you're at it for more tricks and tips and music production tips. Thank you.
See you next time.